Hey guys, welcome back to Click It, your best source for all things in IT. It's wonderful to see you again on the channel. Today, we will look at an interesting debate to machine learning enthusiasts, PyTorch versus TensorFlow. Both frameworks have been continuously improved to make them more powerful and easier for developers to use. So which is the best? You've come to the perfect place to find out. Hey, I'm Luis, a software developer at Clickit. In this video, I will have you choose between TensorFlow and PyTorch for 2025. Both TensorFlow and PyTorch have become essential tools in all areas of AI, such as data science, machine learning, computer vision, natural language processing, and predictive analytics. So why does this choice matter so much? As AI continues to evolve, using the right tools is key to staying competitive and efficient in your work. Did I catch your interest? Then stick around to dive deeper into the differences between them. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out at clickittech.com. Overview about TensorFlow. So let's examine each framework individually, starting with TensorFlow. Developed by Google Brain, TensorFlow has become a leading framework in machine learning and deep learning due to its extensive collection of tools, libraries, and resources. TensorFlow is incredibly versatile, with APIs for model building, tools for large-scale training and deployment, pre-trained models, and detailed documentation. TensorFlow is used often due to its high scalability. That means you can run it on a single CPU or a huge cluster of GPUs or TPUs. For companies that need quick and efficient model deployment, TensorFlow flexibility makes it ideal for large-scale implementations. TensorFlow has also released several updates in recent years to make the framework more accessible and user-friendly. Because of this, it is now a strong candidate for all AI professionals in 2025. Overview of PyTorch. Now, PyTorch was developed by Facebook AI Research Lab. It has become popular among researchers and developers because of its simple and easy to understand architecture. With PyTorch, coding feels a lot like regular Python. Therefore, it is easier to learn and more accessible to people who already know the language. PyTorch is mainly used in natural language processing and computer vision tasks, and many top research papers and breakthroughs in AI are built using PyTorch. Its recent advancements in 2025 have also made it a pretty good option for production use, so it's not just limited to research anymore. Key factors to consider when choosing between TensorFlow versus PyTorch. That I have properly introduced both frameworks Let's compare them so you can make an informed decision. Ease of use and syntax. When it comes to ease of use, PyTorch generally takes the lead due to its dynamic computational graph feature. This is because it gives more flexibility during the development phases. This feature allows you to modify the model on the go, which is particularly beneficial when you are trying to implement complex custom operations. PyTorch Syntax is simple and easy to follow. This makes it easy for beginners to get started with machine learning. On the other hand, TensorFlow uses a more rigid fixed graph structure. Although it can initially seem less flexible, it is highly optimized for performance once you are in the production phase. TensorFlow has improved with features like immediate execution, PyTorch remains the better choice for beginners and researchers who want to experiment and prototype quickly. Community and ecosystem. Both PyTorch and TensorFlow have large communities, each with its own unique strengths. TensorFlow, which is the more established of the two, has built a highly integrated ecosystem over time. It's packed with resources, well-detailed documentation, and third-party tools. This ecosystem extends beyond just model building, with TensorFlow Lite for mobile apps, TensorFlow.js for JavaScript integration, and TensorFlow Extender for production pipelines. Overall, 
It offers a flexible solution that enables developers to deploy models easily across various platforms. Meanwhile, PyTorch is particularly popular in research circles, with strong support from universities and research labs. Its community has expanded significantly with the rise of tools like Hugging Face Transformers, which simplifies tasks in natural language processing, such as text classification and translation, and PyTorch Learning, which simplifies the process of training complex deep learning models. These additions have made PyTorch the best choice for dealing with AI, machine learning, and data science projects, especially in LP and research-oriented settings. Next, let's discuss the tools they provide. TensorFlow offers a variety of tools, such as TFX, which helps build machine learning pipelines, and TensorBoard for visualization, which tracks training progress and performance metrics and helps the bulk models. TensorFlow's features makes it an excellent option for pipeline management and model monitoring in a production environment. PyTorch has developed its own tools as well. It includes PyTorch Lightning and Torch Surf for deploying PyTorch models. Additionally, PyTorch works with Onyx, which allows developers to convert models so they can be used with other frameworks. Performance. In terms of performance, TensorFlow often comes out on top, particularly in large-scale production environments that demand high efficiency. TensorFlow's static computation graph feature allows for better optimization which can lead to faster training times on extensive datasets. TensorFlow also supports Google's Tensor Processing Units, which are specialized hardware designed to accelerate machine learning tasks. By efficiently processing tensors, this significantly enhance the efficiency of machine learning workflows by reducing processing time. A tensor is a multidimensional array that generalizes scalars, vectors, and matrices and it serves as a primary data structure in TensorFlow. PyTorch, while sometimes lagging slightly in terms of speed, has improved greatly over recent years and now offers competitive performance, especially on GPUs. With libraries like PyTorch CUDA support, it's becoming easier to optimize performance, especially for research-focused projects. Integration and flexibility. The next factor is quite important. The previously mentioned factors will be ineffective without the ability to integrate and implement flexibly. TensorFlow is highly effective for integration tasks. Its integration with Keras makes model building easy, and TFX provides an end-to-end -end solution for deploying machine learning models in production. TensorFlow is also compatible with a variety of tools in Google's ecosystem, making attractive for companies heavily invested in Google Cloud. PyTorch, meanwhile, is very flexible and has become a favorite for NLP and computer vision project and task. With integrations such as Hugging Fate Transformers for NLP and PyTorch Lightning for more complex model structures, PyTorch is the go-to framework for researchers experimenting with customizable models. How to choose between PyTorch and TensorFlow. Project examples. If you're still unsure which framework will best meet your project needs, I'll go over a few examples to help clarify. TensorFlow reliable production capabilities make it deal for large-scale deployment applications, such as fraud detection, recommendation engines, and predictive maintenance. If you are developing an application that demands high production efficiency and scalability, TensorFlow may be the better choice. On the other hand, PyTorch dynamic nature makes it especially useful for experimentation and research. For instance, PyTorch is a great option if you are working on a cutting edge computer vision or natural language processing project where you need to experiment with new ideas and iterate quickly. Projects like conversational AI or self-driving cars which require rapid prototyping often fall into PyTorch realm. Scenarios and industries. Different industries might also favor one framework over the other. In healthcare, for instance, where you need to deploy models to make real-time predictions, TensorFlow scalability and optimization capabilities might be preferable. 
industries like robotics or autonomous driving, where there is a mix of experimentation and deployment, may benefit from TensorFlow production tools. PyTorch is often preferred for research-heavy fields such as academia, NLP, or computer vision due to its ease of use and flexibility. Researchers can build and test model quickly, which can be adapted for production if needed. Huggins Face Transformers Library, which is built on PyTorch, is widely used in NLP for building language models. This makes PyTorch highly preferable in this domain. We have covered all the basics on this topic. Now, let's review what we learned today. TensorFlow is the ideal choice for production environments that require scalability, deployment flexibility, and robust tools. PyTorch, on the other hand, is best for research and experimentation. It offers flexibility and a simple syntax for rapid prototyping. Depending on your particular requirements and the team's level of experience, you can choose between the two frameworks, each offering unique advantages. We hope this video helps you pick the best framework for your UI projects. Thanks for watching. Please share or leave a comment below. See you next time.